My name is Jacek Jarosz and I work for Exova. Uh, I am the senior laboratory technician in pesticides department where we monitor amount of pesticides in food samples, specifically fruits and vegetables. So we extract a sample, then uh, we run this extract on a very, very high technology instruments and then uh, we compare the result to the maximum residue level in food uh, and then we report it to our clients. Maximum residue level is the level uh, which is set uh, by, by legislation to every single pesticide and it uh, shouldn't be exceeded uh, for, as it may be harmful for people in age of 15 when uh, I didn't know what to do with my life as a career. And then my mom advised me that maybe food technology college will be okay for me. So because I was always interested in uh, food science uh, and also maths uh, uh, as well, so I decided that I'm gonna do it. And after five years of uh, being in that subject, I decided that I wanna uh, learn more about food. So I went to the University of Agri Agriculture in Krakow and I completed a master's degree in food technology and human nutrition. After the university in Poland, they sent me like uh, for a work experience here in the UK. There was like a project for students to help them to get work experience. So I came here and then after the work experience, I came back to Poland and after half a year, I made the decision that actually working here and living here in Great Britain is better for me and uh, more spectrum of uh, possibilities to do here with my career as in Poland. Originally I started as a technician in nutritional department but uh, after a few years time there was a senior technician position available so uh, I successfully applied for them. When I came here it wasn't easy but uh, I knew that I want to start uh, learning English as soon as possible so uh, at work I could uh, people understood my situation and they were very helpful for me. At the same time, I started doing uh, English class in college, uh, in microbiology laboratory, when the names are actually not either English or Polish, but they are the same. So it was very easy yeah, and, and it, was, it was good. As I think, the uh, world belongs to brave people. So we have to do sometimes like, you know, steps. We don't really, we're not really sure if we're gonna go further or, or not. For my close family, nobody went to the university. I was the first one. My uh, parents were working as a farmers, so I was the first one uh, to, to go to the university. Uh, at the moment, they are retired, both retired, but uh, they, they've been doing far, far more. At the beginning in school, I didn't know what I want to do as, a, as my career, so I basically uh, learned all the subjects I was interested in. It was uh, math and science. so. I was uh, working very hard on them and I thought that it may be very useful for me in the, in the future. So I was actually f I focused on the, on the science and maths. In terms of my career progression, I think uh, I'm going to de still develop myself and continue definitely in food sciences. I mean like food technology is not just working in a laboratory, it's a wide spectrum of possibilities like working in a laboratory, a quality control of food and also like uh, food production, so it's uh, wide. So I'm going to stay in this uh, field and then maybe in, few, maybe in the future I will do like a managing, manager course or something so uh, I can see myself like in a few years time maybe become even lab manager or something. Every day I learn something new as every day brings a new situation. Even, you know, we work on uh, very high technology instruments, so sometimes troubleshooting them is not, is not really easy. And I think I learn day by day, but I think I'm, I'm quite confident, I could say. I can say that I'm a happy person, and I can say also that I'm a lucky person, that, you know, I decided to come here and now live where I live and do what I do.